the only way I'm going to fail in life is when you kill God. When you kill God, you have killed me. You have finished me. You can, you, I can never fail as long as that big man out there is there. I can never. They don't point your papa where to make me fail when that big man is there. Never. The only time I'm failing is when you kill God. Mm. To all my village people, to all my enemies, kill God first and then you will make me fail. Thank you. It is the Kev Champions League weekend semi-finals between Esperance de Tunisia of Tunisia and uh, Tipema Zembe hosting defending champions Alali of Egypt. I'm excited. This episode, we basically, I'm just giving my best 11 that could potentially cause an upset in Tunisia. Well, uh, well there are obviously concerns Concerns for me as a Mamelodi Sundowns fan uh, going into this game. Uh, I just want to get the negatives out of the way and uh, later on focus on the positives before I give the best 11, which I think uh, could actually stand their ground and actually be a, a fortress and also cause a threat going forward. Yes, I do go by the name of Oscar Sensei Football, where I discuss anything to do with football from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. First things first. At this point in time, I would not want to be a Rulani Mukwena. I don't know what's happening and what's going through his mind. Um, he's reached this stage before and it was last season and it did not end well. Uh, drew nearly first leg. Was it nearly or was it 1-1 against with that? And then uh, drew two all um, second leg in Loftus. And that's how Mamelodi Sundowns bowed out of the competition because of the away goal rule. Now, what are some of my concerns going into this game? Coming to this game, Mamelodi Sundowns has not had, uh, has not been in great form. Well, they've not lost the match, but they've not been scoring either. Uh, they've not been scoring a lot of goals. Uh, their striking force uh, has not really been lethal in front of goals. And uh, one other factor, which is obvious to everyone, is the the fatigue, uh, the fatigue issue. And um, it, it is a concern. I mean, if you look at a, a player like Tebu Homukwena, he's played, I think, 46 or 45 games this season alone. If you also include some of the matches he played in the Afghan in January, February in, in Ivory Coast, Mamelo de Sundowns have piled up a lot of games. I mean, considering the a, uh, the African Football League competition that was introduced this season. So it's been a lot of games for Mamelo de Sundowns. Uh, a lot of travel as well up and down in Africa. A lot of players um, are, are, are on the injury list. And uh, someone that was instrumental in how Mamelo uh, de wants to play is uh, is a Rivaldo and a Bongani Zungu. Those two players um, are injured and uh, I don't see them uh, featuring in, in the semi-finals at all. And so it's been a lot of lot of injuries. Uh, a lot of defenders were out injured. I think AB, the Moroccan, is back. And um, fatigue is also probably also creeping in. And um, I just hope that that my melody Sundance has not been scoring a lot of goals in past matches. I just hope that they've been saving those goals for the last four matches. I'm expecting this team to go all the way into the finals. And I'm just hoping that uh, Shalulile, uh, who has gone through some a dry spell, has been saving those goals uh, for this stage of the of the tournament. And uh, it, it is really, really a, a tough one. And another concern would definitely be how we've been defending uh, set pieces. Uh, so some of the goals we've considered, they are worrying. Considering the type of opponent we'll also be playing, the goal we, we, we considered against uh, Pretoria University in, in the netback competition, the goal we considered against Muraka Swallows on, on Monday, uh, first goal, uh, set piece again. It, it is a, a, a worrying, a worrying factor. One hopes that those issues are all, uh, are all corrected. 
And the last concern would definitely be um, what happened last season against Sweden in the semi-finals. I just hope that uh, the, 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 the experienced players, the, the big coaches have dealt with that matter and the players are fresh, with renewed minds approaching this semi-final. And, uh, and yes, uh, I think it, it's good now for me that I've dealt with the negatives. Let me just refocus my energy on, 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 on some of, 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 of the positives. Uh, I would not want to be ruling Mukwen at this point in time. I don't know what's going through his mind. I'm just hoping that the coach will draw some lessons from uh, the Real Madrid versus Man City first leg and second leg, second leg uh, uh, matches. Um, beautiful football might not necessarily win you games. I'm hoping that he might have um, a pragmatic, you know, approach to this, um, to this, to this match, especially the first leg. Uh, but we all know that is that is not a, a Rulani Mukwena. That is my, not not my melody sundowns uh, uh, DNA. They will intend to dominate. They will intend to have uh, a big share of the position and uh, i'm not sure what type of um, formation erlani mukwena will play i was actually thought on monday against Mar uh, morocco solos he was going to rest a lot of players but it was not the case and uh, there's obviously an injury scare uh, for a table mukwena uh, but it looks like the guy will play uh, it looks like the guy the guy will play and um you know both sides uh, Esperance the Tunisia they are leading their league in, in Tunisia and Manuel Sundown is leading uh Premier Soccer League in in South Africa well over 10 points we can just say the league is sealed for Manuel Sundowns and uh, the focus now is on Kev Champions League and the Net Bank these guys would probably play six matches in 16 days that's a lot of matches uh, and the squad rotation is necessary is necessary and uh, we are playing a, a decent side a side uh, typical of a north african side although this one they also enjoy keeping the ball but uh, one thing that's typical amongst uh, the egyptians the uh, algerians uh, the libyans the moroccans is the fact that uh, they play, you know, your old English style of football, your Sam Allardyce, a big um, striker up top, overload um, the the width, uh, whip in crosses, capitalize on on set pieces, your corners, the free kicks around the box, they ensure they capitalize on those, so it will be instrumental for Mamelodi Sundowns defense, your Mvala. Uh, a B if he starts, a uh, Granke Kana, Luma if he starts, Mudau and Obas Mukwena. That will probably start this game, considering the, the number of players that are, are injured or coming back from injury. So defending set plays, set pieces will be very very important. I uh, watched their first leg against Asik Mimos Esperance. And uh, I don't know how many crosses uh, they put into the box uh, in a game. Uh, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. So Williams will uh, will, will have to command that box, and uh, at some point he has to come out uh, for those balls. Uh, so so it's going to be an interesting one. How many sent down set up against set pieces because they are going to get set pieces. Uh, speedy wingers who are going to test the Emudao or Emudiba or Lunga, whoever is playing left back or AB, the Mu Rocken. Uh, I'm excited about the match and, uh, uh but one thing that's positive about Mamelodi Sundowns is that um, they are not stuck into one, one play. They can switch play at any time of the match. And um, that's one thing that could be an advantage for Irulani Mukwena. I personally think that uh, he should uh, just apply the 4-4-2 with the diamond in the middle. And then obviously I'll give my 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 best eleven at the end, and then uh, with two aggressive number eight, uh, that should work uh, tirelessly in this match. And um, the two guys playing up top, whether it's Murena, whether it's Shalulile, whether it's uh, Ribeiro, 
whoever will be playing up top, uh, um, any chance we get, we should punish. We should kill the chance. I mean, two goals away from home would be a, 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 a custard, would be a blessing, would be the sweetest thing for Mamelodi Sundowns. And, uh, but we know Champions League games are not the easiest. What are these two teams actually playing for? What is at stake for Esperance de Tunis and uh, Mamelodi Sundowns apart from getting to the finals of CAF Champions League? These teams also want to qualify for Club Cup. Uh, Club World Cup, which will be hosted in USA next June, July. 32 teams will go. There's 24, 32 teams. And uh, there's a 50 million euros injection for all the teams that will qualify for the tournament. That's a billion rand injection for a South African team. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So that is what is at stake for Lani Mukwena, for the boys. I don't think there can be any other motivation than that one. A billion rand. How much bonuses will these get? Will these players get if they do qualify? Molly Sundance just needs to get to the finals in order to get an automatic um, qualification for 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 the club World Cup in USA. And um, that, that's all. That's, they just need to get to the finals, and uh, they do. They they have a great chance in getting to the final finals this year. And um, yeah, man, I I I really can't um, uh, say more uh, except to give you guys my predictions for. I mean, not prediction. Well, prediction yes, but my best eleven or the eleven I think. Uh, Mukwena should should start with. Obviously, the bench will be a very solid bench. Yeah, will be a very good bench. Should we concede and chase the game, the the players on the bench are, are good enough to change the game. I am hoping to see in, in Mabena on the bench, the 17 year old. I'm really hoping that Mukwena will introduce this player, whether we are chasing. Or whether we are leading, the boy has been promising, has shown signs of um, of maturity, signs shown shown signs of um, you know an, an attacking prowess. So at, at some point, better than uh, a, a Maseko. Um But um, I'm hoping to see that boy. I I I'll really 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 be be happy to see uh, Mopena on on <coughs> on the bench. As I've said previously, I'm going with the four four two diamond. In the middle now at the base of this diamond before I even well the number one is obvious it's williams and uh right back uh mudao right center forward grand kegan left center for uh oh right center back grand kegan left center back mvala mutiba and the left back i am going with divine lunga He's done exceptionally well in that central uh, central center back um, uh, position, uh, and uh, he is also familiar playing left back. Uh, I, I'll throw him in there. I want. I'm hoping Mukwena will go with this four four two diamond um, that uh, will also not be too adventurous, be pragmatic, uh, don't be naive. And um, yes, keep position, and then uh, see how the opponent will uh, will approach the game and probably react to that. Uh, and uh, obviously, everyone knows how Mamelo de Sundowns builds from the back. Are they going to uh, press us, or if they they don't press us, uh, which I doubt they will, uh, then a divine Luma is okay. Uh, but a pressing game needs a type of. Uh, a, a Mudiba to start, but anyway, I'm starting with the Divine Lunga. Mudiba has not had uh, uh, some uh, good, good matches. Uh, is it four or five matches now? He's been he's been really, really poor. And the mid four excludes the captain of the club. I'm starting Shishi. I love him Shishi, but he's also not had a, a good, uh, some good uh, run of game. So I'm starting him uh, on the bench. We all love him Shishi. Um, but uh, if there are players who are more promising or could do uh, better than him, why not start them? So I'm benching Mshishi, I'm benching Mudiba, 
my diamond at the base of the diamond i'm gonna start batusi obas he's done well and uh, he can uh, protect uh, mvala and um and Krankeka and uh, shoot divine lunga and uh Krankeka and and uh, uh mudao uh push up so at uh, the base is obas and my two aggressive eights hoping that Debo Mukwena will pass a late fitness test if there is one needed or necessary. Um, my aggressive aids, I'm going to give it to Alende and the Debo Mukwena. Uh, those two players uh, have, en have an engine for days and I think they will do well for us. Uh, Mukwena has played an eight before. Uh, leave Batusi behind. Mukwena can bomb up and down with the, with the Alende. And at the the number 10 for this game, I'm going to give to Imotoe Nanana and Newo Ma Yema. I'm trusting him to link up, uh, uh play with uh, the, the front two guys and, uh, and the, and the two, uh, aggressive number eights in Allende and Mukwena. And the top two guys, I'll start with Ribeiro and Aisha Lulile. But there might be a shocker where um where uh Tapelo Morena can actually start the game. But yeah, it is what it is, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Good luck to my beloved Sundowns, good luck uh, coach Ron Mukwe and Amangoba uh the technical guys. Give it your all. We are behind you. And uh you've done extremely well this far, Ron Mukwena. There might be some Sundowns fans who are complaining about you know here and there, but we are we should not appear as a, a spoiled uh a, a, a bunch of supporters. We have done extremely well. Mukwena has done extremely well this far, and obviously there are other factors that are affecting how we are playing now. Fatigue is one of them. I mean we've been we've played a lot of games. But we trust you, coach. We trust you, my Lord Sundance. We are behind you. And uh, yes, you have seen this face and this content for the first time. Do hit that like button. Share the content with your friends. Share on all social platforms. Uh, you've helped me to get this far. And uh, I intend to push more and more and more. Thank you so much for staying this long with me. I do go by the name of Wisconsin Football. Thank you so much. Good night.